you what you're capable of. Okay, so, my name is Deborah Ronan. I am your host tonight. Let's start off with some comedy, shall we? All right, so, uh, first of all, I am a comedian, but I don't talk on stage as much as I just get on stage and words fall out of me. Because I'm a very awkward person. I know words fall out of me sounds like it could be dirty. It's not. It's just a freeze. I'm happy to be doing comedy. I had a weird week, okay? So like one of my friends, she was saying, Deb, every time we get together, it's just all about you, it's just all about you, and you never ask me how I'm doing, and you're selfish. Yeah, that's a hard thing to hear, right, from your therapist? Like, I didn't see that coming at all. And that was a weird session. At the end of it, she was like, Deb, please remember, I am your therapist, not your friend anymore. You fuck that up, or we're not going back. It's no surprise I see a therapist. Because I was a total SJT in high school. Any, SJT, anyone else? Sad Jewish teen, anyone else? Anyone? No? No, just me? Okay. Probably shouldn't draw attention to that fact so much these days. But it, it, you know what? Sad Jewish teen is the same as regular sad teens. We just had to cut ourselves in Hebrew. It's the only difference. See, if you look at my scarf, right to left, and that's how you read them. <laughs> Those of you who got that, good for you. Shalom. <laughs> Okay, moving on. I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety. There's really no need to look so shocked about it, guys. There really isn't. But it's okay, you know what? It's fine, it's fine. Because I still have my mother to calm me down. She says the most wonderful things to me, and I get to teach her things every day. It's a great friendship. Like I taught her just the other day that you can get postpartum depression 31 years after giving birth. <laughs> yeah. Luckily, I'm real big now, so she can't drown me very easily. <laughs> you know what's funny? She doesn't like that joke either. <laughs> I don't know why I keep telling it. All right, so I'm starting this new thing in my act where I talk about current events. So this is very new for me, so I need you guys to, you know, just cut me some slack, okay? So current events, here we go. Topical humor. I assume everybody's kept up with the Harvey Weinstein thing. Yeah, remember when it was just Harvey Weinstein? That feels like three years ago. But, you know, I, so many horrible things. So many horrible stories. Although my favorite horrible story is that he exposed himself to a woman, and when she said no, jerked off in front of her, and ejaculated into a potted plant. This is what news is today. That was on goddamn MSNBC. And as a member of the tribe, I am here to tell you that's not where Jewish babies come from. Okay, you can't just bury two shekels, come on it, and like grow your own accountant. It doesn't work that way. All right? Since I'm, I've got momentum on Jew stuff, <laughs> I feel like at heart we all have that Jewy center. Uh, one thing about Jews, and I have to keep bringing this up because it's been bothering me for years, we like to talk about the fact that we're Jewish. Why do we do that? Have you ever met a Jew that never brought it up? I haven't. Have you ever seen a Jewish comedian that never brought it up on stage? No, you haven't. I'm answering that for you. You haven't. And I don't know why we do this. Because honestly, you think we know better than to draw that much attention to ourselves. <laughs> Historically, it hasn't worked out. And I know you're thinking, ah, Holocaust reference. No, entire history reference. Okay, one of us got crucified for that, guys. I get reminded I'm Jewish in the weirdest ways. The gym I go to, which I admit is the JCC. <laughs> in Durham, it's at 1937 Cornwallis Road. 1937 is on the building! That's a fucked up way to remind me why I need to stay in shape. 
But you know what? I figured it out. I figured out why we can't shut up about being Jewish, despite all the dangers. It's because what we're actually trying to say is, Hey, guess what? I'm white! <laughs> but interesting. <laughs> but we're not interesting, and that's the saddest part. We're just white. Just not white enough for the clan. Yeah. It's, I'm cool not being in that club, guys. It's okay. You don't have to feel so sad about that. Yeah, that's the distinction. And, you know, they call us a dirty race. They do. I don't know why. I don't feel like I'm a dirty race. I don't feel like Jews are even a race. Do you know what we are? We're a bunch of people who got together one day and decided that we all really like salmon. <laughs> That's what we are. On bagels, everything. And that once a year we'll confuse everybody by eating the filter fish. I married an older Jew. That's true. My husband's right over there. He's the jerk with the crutches. <laughs> Give it up for him. He's awesome. Yes? He's 40. I'm fucking with you guys. He's 51. He's 51. That's, that is not made up. And when we first got together, people were like, Oh my god, he's so creepy. He's just robbing the cradle, isn't he? He's just robbing the cradle. They don't do this dance move, but like emotionally they did. And I got so angry about that. Because how come he gets all this credit for robbing the cradle, and I had no credit for raising the it's bullshit! Deborah Ronan, Tomb Raider! Lara Croft has not earned that title, by the way. Well, I don't know what she has done. Giant breasts robbed a sarcophagus. I've touched wrinkly old man balls, Tomb Raider. And you know, people are thinking, oh god, it's so creepy. It's, not, it's, it's so risque. Yeah, maybe when we met and I was 23 and he was 42, but now I'm 31 and we're just two sad adults. That's really all we are. But there are so many benefits to this. For example, if it doesn't work out, I won't need to file for divorce, guys. I can just wait. <laughs> That's all I have to do, I just have to wait. And you know, he, uh, he works at SAS, which is an awesome company. And there's a life insurance policy that comes with that job. $300,000! I had nothing to do with that. But I do have a new fetish. I, 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 I masturbate while I watch him. At the top of the stairs. <laughs> it's okay to laugh at that. Baby, can you go up a few more steps? I'm almost done. Two hundred and fifty thousand. Two hundred and seventy-five thousand. I don't need to talk you through how I masturbate. You get it. I'm gonna wrap up with this this little story. It's not really a story. It's sort of an FYI. I started shaving. Vagina. That's what I was getting at. I started shaving. I don't need to do this. Like it's all over. Like that's what I was starting with. That's. I'm making it worse now. I uh, I always have my triangle. Always got the Raleigh Durham Chapel Hill. It's all there. It's all there. And you know, okay, sometimes it goes out to Greensboro because it's where it goes. Okay, sometimes in the winter it goes out to Asheville because it's where it goes. Okay, up to High Point. No, as far as it goes. And if you're wondering what is it when they shave it all off completely and it's bare and white and uninvited, that's Carrie. <laughs> in the back. Anyway. <laughs> I don't regret that bit. I don't do what they call a landing strip. Do we all know what that is? Because there's sometimes confusion. It's not the little box. That's an Adolf Hitler. <laughs> For obvious reasons, I don't do that one. If my husband gets an erection, it's like a sig heil. It's kind of weird. <laughs> we use spermicide. It's like millions of Jews die. It's awkward. 
No dead Jews in this oven, guys. That's my motto. It's, I, it's a weird motto, I grant it, but I'm sticking by it, okay? I don't do that, and I don't do the landing, landing strip. Now that is when they take all the hair away, but they leave like one strip of hair to guide you to the vagina because you couldn't open the legs. And they call it a landing strip. And, you know, guys, I consider myself a feminist. This show has all ladies, and I feel like in honor of that, I need to stand up for us and say that that's an inappropriate name. Landing strip. Oh, it shouldn't be called a landing strip. It should be called a Gaza strip, and I need you to stay with me on this. Because I forced all my other pubic hairs to relocate to the toilet someplace way shittier. See, I did it. And I bet you're like, oh, she's not gonna make this vagina joke political. I did, because I went to college. <laughs> Thank you. My parents say they're proud. All right, are you ready for your first comedian?